We want to celebrate your leadership. A round of applause. You have already seen the Commander Land Forces and the Commander Special Forces. Brigadier General J.M. Semwanga, Commander First Division, Chief of Defense Intelligence and Security, Colonel Robert Mugo Struggle. And now with this salary enhancement. The security of Uganda is point number two of the National Resistance Army 10-point program. The high-tech equipment in the command center, therefore, shall focus towards the same direction. Your Excellency, sir, the inauguration of this center today signifies greater strides towards the new cutting-edge technology, as well as representation of our fortified and solidified position to national security, preparedness and readiness through enhanced synergy with sister security agencies. Your Excellency, sir, this era of intelligence characterized by complex and uncertain and volatile operating environment, cyberspace threats, terrorism, and rapid technological advancements have taken center stage. The role of such a command center cannot be overstated in addressing the above non-traditional threats. It will serve as the nerve center, orchestrating the seamless integration of intelligence, operations, and strategic decision-making that are critical, safeguarding the grand strategic end state of our nation. Your presence here... Chief of the Minister of Defense, I want to thank the CDF for the trust he has put in me to represent him today on this very important occasion. I want to thank the Army leadership for implementing His Excellency and Commanding Chief's vision of transforming the UPDF into the current formidable force it is today. I want also to thank the SFC command and his command and his entire team for accomplishing projects entrusted to them using limited resources. Engineers Brigade has a accomplished very many projects in the UPDF and in the government. For example, the construction of the brigade headquarters. Your Excellency, most of the new brigade headquarters that didn't have a home, now they have a home. They have housing units, armories, health centers, uh, motorized infantry sheds, and armored sh sheds, sheds for the tanks, repairing of roads and bridges in the theater of operations, the construction of the terminal, of the terminal building at Entebbe Airport, construction of Nambole Stadium, 
ongoing construction of the, of the fence at uh, Kololo Ceremonial Grounds, ETC, ETC, ETC. Allow me to join the Commander Special Forces in welcoming you, Your Excellency, to SFC headquarters to witness this very important function of commissioning the Command and Coordination Center building. This facility is more than a structure. It is a cornerstone of our strategic capabilities and a testament to our commitment to security, coordination, and excellency in service. The commissioning of this facility, sir, marks a pivotal milestone in our ongoing efforts of professionalizing UPDF so as to ensure the safety and preparedness of our nation. It symbolizes our readiness to face the complexities of modern defense and our determination to adapt to an ever evolving global landscape. In actually, we call it Bako March. Bako March. Yes. Yes. March yes. is fire. Yes. So Bako is to, to yes. stimulate or something. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too. So now, the fire, which has got people to back or match it, will continue by burning. So what we are seeing here is now back or match by you people, you the young ones, adding more firewood to the fire, stimulating the old fire and adding more firewood. And that's why it says, oh, the changes are to grow. it will not die out. It will continue by burning because it has got people to back or match it. So what we are, all these things Karanja was talking about, the barracks opened here, the what, the what, the what. This one we have, we have just commissioned here. That is all back or match, the fire. You are reigniting the old fire, but also adding more, more firewood. So I congratulate the, uh, the CDF. I congratulate the, the other commanders, uh, the engineering brigade, the, the, the financial controllers, who save money, because although the engineering brigade is doing the work, they use materials. They, okay, they, they, are not, they, they don't use, they are not paid contracts, but they need cement, they need metaimba, they need, so we need money to buy the materials, primary in the secondary. And when it comes to university, then we, we had also some ideas how they could either get government sponsorship or take salary loans and pay for them and then recover from the salary. That was our solution for the low salary. You're getting a low salary, but your children are studying free. So you, you people who are in charge, make sure those government schools, uh, army schools perform well. Because when they do that, you will no longer have the problem of having to, to send children in, in private schools, pay a lot of money. No, 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 no. And the army schools can actually earn, because if they are doing very well, if you select good teachers, and they are doing well, the schools are doing well, the children of the, of the soldiers will study free. But because of the reputation of the school, the, the, the Wanaichi can bring their children there. And then we charge them. So the, let, the, let, let the spouses of the soldiers do economic activities using the free land of the army around the barracks. Poultry, knitting, weaving, all those activities. So that the, the, the wives, the spouses, are earning 
using the, the, free, the free land around the army, but also with the support of the government. Then they can be able to supplement the, the salary of the, of the husbands. Yeah. <laughs>